in books, television, and film, so often the law is presented to us as intimidating, imposing, and indifferent. And sadly, it is this image that is reflected to us in the experience of so many of the most vulnerable participants in Canada's legal system, our legal system. Individuals who represent themselves and recipients of legal aid tell us that they experience disrespect and confusion in Canada's courts. Now, it's partly their experiences that prompt me to ask, is it possible for Canada's legal system to not only be just, but caring as well? And it's my hypothesis that not only is it possible, but necessary. If the law is to be just, it must be caring. And so I'm pursuing this question through a literature review of the past 30 years of care ethics research in the law. I'm trying to identify what care theorists see as the major barriers in the law to caring justice. And what I found are barriers on three levels. <coughs> Jurisprudence, which is philosophy of law, policy, and actors, like judges and lawyers. And I've also found three corresponding levels of solutions. If the law is to be caring, it must be attentive, responsible, and competent. So firstly, on the level of jurisprudence, ideas about autonomy that require us to be independent and rational blind the law to those caring relationships that make that autonomy possible. If the law is to be attentive to our needs, it needs to be able to see us as we are, interdependent and vulnerable. On the level of policy, Legal aid policy delivers vital legal services each and every day, but they're just that, legal services. For the single mother with no one to watch her kids at home, or the disabled person who can't find adequate transport, they never make it to court to receive those services. If legal aid is to deliver on its promises, it needs to take responsibility for more than just the legal needs. And lastly, Good care doesn't come out of nowhere. It requires competence. Our lawyers and our judges are skilled in uh, textual analysis and argumentation, but not necessarily in sympathy or responsiveness. Now, the practical implications of these framework, this framework is diverse. From rethinking legal education curriculum to building childcare and transport services around court. I think... What it all comes down to is that the question can no longer be, can the law be caring, but do we want it enough? I'll let you be the judge. <laughs>